When I met Alan, I never expected our relationship to turn out the way it did. Let me start from the beginning. Alan's proposal seemed sweet and genuine, so of course I said yes. But there was one thing I noticed that day that was strangely odd. Alan had a cat stuffed in his back pocket. A little weird, don't you think? Anyways, we had a bridal shower and once again, Alan only seemed half interested in what was going on. Friends started bringing us gifts and I was so excited. But as I was showing him the gifts, all he cared about was that dang cat. I started to become Alan's second option. For example, I had to sit in the back seat when we went somewhere because the cat always got shotgun. Like, did you marry me or that cat? One time I was sitting outside reading because Alan had been away for a few days. Alan came home a day earlier than expected, so when I saw him running across the yard, I was so happy. So what did I do? I got up and started running towards him, but that was definitely the wrong choice. Take a wild guess of who he hugged first. Yep, the cat. I tried to put all differences aside because I loved Alan, so I tried to give the cat another chance. Once again, I made the wrong choice. That little brat bit me. I finally had had enough of this. When Alan was sleeping, I decided to take the cat away from him. I wanted to rid our relationship of the problem. I thought I was being quiet walking up the stairs, but Alan heard me and started running up after me. At this moment, I did something brave. In a crazy attempt to save our marriage, I threw the cat out the window. But silly me, I forgot that cats always land on their feet. Alan ran outside to check on his precious cat. We started arguing and I told him that I couldn't handle this anymore. He obviously loved that cat more than me. I picked up my bag and started heading out the door. Alan must have had enough of me too because he slammed the door in my face. Whatever though, I walked away from Alan and that dang cat. Honestly, I'm happier without them and I'm sure they're happier without me.